Hey, hey guys, um, this might be the start of our labor and delivery vlog because I just got back from my 39 week appointment, with my OB and my blood pressure is up. Um, some of you guys have asked if I have preeclampsia and I've always said no because my blood pressure has been normal, no protein in my urine, but today they found protein in my urine and my blood pressure is up. So they are sending me to the hospital. I'm out of breath because I'm like, oh my gosh, um, to do um, a non-stress test and get some blood work done <clears throat> and they might t uh, just keep me um, and get me started and induced. Um, that's what my doctor pretty much predicts is that we're having this baby within the next day or two. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm so ready. So I just hope everything's okay, obviously, with baby and with me. And everything goes smoothly, but I am 90% effaced, zero <laughs> dilated. But um, he thinks, my doctor thinks everything will be just fine, and he's not worried about it at all. So just wants to get me in and taken care of. So yeah. So right now I am at home. He said it's no rush to get to the hospital. Just make your way there, but do what you need to do before you go in because you might be staying there. So I am going to finish getting ready, um, gonna make my bed, eat something, and then grab the rest of my stuff from my hospital bag, and we'll head on over. All right. Nine months later. Nine months later. We are officially heading to the hospital, well, which is 90 seconds away from our house. We, just we, we are officially going, but we're not officially going. Okay, yeah. We're officially heading to the hospital, but we don't know what will happen. They're going to do tests and then um, decide, you know, if they should induce me tonight. But just seemed pretty sure, like my doctor seemed pretty sure that they were just going to start me tonight with all the cytotech medication, whatever that gets your induction going. And then pseudo, pseudo, cytotech, cytotech is the name of the. Um, medication. Oh. They put it on your cervix and then it kind of gets things going and then he said that tomorrow they, he would show up and um, oh hi <laughs> we just saw a neighbor <laughs> um, tomorrow he would show up in the morning and rupture my membranes whatever that means sounds painful um, and Water. then yeah maybe that's what it is and then things Mucus will get plug. going Ugh. but yeah our hospital is just right up there, and we'll have, we'll have Eric keep you guys posted. wonder if they're doing any specials on babies. babies. Buy one, get one. No. Like, have a baby today and save. And save. 30%. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'd be awesome. This is what it looks like before. Nice and calm. Then I'll do an after. He's so handsome, what's his name? Alright guys, we are leaving the hospital. Well, we already left the hospital. We already left the hospital and went and got Chick-fil-A. Because... We can. Because they released me, because everything looked A-OK. -okay. They want me back on Wednesday for... Uh... What do you call it? An ST? And um, then they scheduled me to be induced on Friday. And that's the plan. Um, I'm not like that disappointed. I don't know, I'm just like, okay. I was pretty convinced by my doctor that we were gonna have a baby today or tomorrow. Um, so that's what I got in my head, but now we're going home. So I'm kind of like, now what do I do with my life? <laughs> but um, I'll just keep myself busy. Enjoy it, babies <laughs> ruin your life. Yes, they do, guys. That is just what we keep being told by people. Um, but yeah, I'll keep myself busy with work. Enjoy eating delicious food because I can now. Um, I was all worried in there. I was so hungry <laughs> that I wasn't going to be able to get eat for a little while. So I'm going to go home and enjoy this and lay down and just wait for baby to decide when she's ready to come. back from the 
hospital. As you can see, um, I'm in the nursery. I'm just putting this um, dock top back together that I washed. Um, oh my gosh. I don't know why, but we were only at the at triage for like 30 minutes. Um, everything looked fine with the baby, but I'm like so tired from that. I don't know why. Um, anyway, now I've got to figure out how to put this dock top back together. Um, but I did want to just like give you guys a quick um, little update. Um, like I said, everything looked great with the baby. So we are good to go for this Friday being induced. Um, because I'm not dilated, they'll just start me Friday night. And then um, we'll, I guess really get things going on Saturday. And hopefully she's here by Saturday night. Um, hopefully everything goes well. I'm not, I'm not really like that anxious or anything about it. I'm pretty calm about it. Um, but I did work from home all day yesterday and I felt anxious by the end of the day. Like just so ready to, I don't know. I just got bored being home all day, I guess. Even though there's tons I can do around the house and with work. Um, I was supposed to take my official first day of maternity leave today, but I'm not going to. I'm going to finish up some work stuff because Monday I was wanting to go up to the office and work, but we ended up at the hospital and all that stuff. So anyway, um, yeah, so um, I'm trying to figure out, am I doing this right? Yeah. So yeah, this will pretty much be my last pregnancy update. That's what I'm going to call this one, my 39-week pregnancy update. Um, that's what's been going on. Um, and we'll be, let's see, I'm trying to think of what else I wanted to talk about. Um, my last, like, chance to talk about how I'm sleeping and how I'm, like, what I'm craving. I'm sleeping pretty good. Um, I notice like I don't sleep great um, in the middle of the night, but then I sleep really good between like the early, early hours. So like probably between like 4 a.m. to like 9. So I just let myself sleep in and get out of bed whenever I feel like it because I'm just working from home right now. I'm not going up to the office anymore. And I just want to take advantage of all the sleep I can get. In fact, over the next couple days, I'm going to sleep a lot. I'm going to take some naps. And yeah, we're all ready for her. There's a few things I want to do around the house, but nothing um, that needs to be done before she comes. Um, and, oh, I wanted to say that I am. I have been craving for the past week. I've been craving waffles so bad for the past week. So Eric ordered a waffle maker for us. On Amazon just yesterday and it'll be here tonight so he's gonna make waffles for dinner I'm so excited um, I think I'm just gotta stuff this baby in there um, let's talk a top anyway so yeah that's pretty much it you guys I don't really know what else to update on um, I'm just grateful baby looks great she's doing really well um, my blood pressure is normalized. Um, it was just spiked that one. Um, well, when they took it Monday morning, they took it several times and every time it was like 138 over 95, which is pretty high for me because I'm usually around like 115 over 70 something. So anyway, but it's gone back down. Everything looks great. So I'm just hopeful for a very smooth labor and delivery, you know, as smooth as you can get something that's an, an experience that's enjoyable for all three of us, me, Eric, and baby, of course. So anyway, that's it, you guys. Um, thank you so much for all the love and support. And um, I guess the next time you will see me um, on here, Will probably be our labor and delivery vlog, um, or maybe I'll do our nursery organization vlog first before that. Who knows? But within a week or so, 
you'll have a labor and delivery vlog to watch, which will be fun. Fun for me, at least. <laughs> but anyway, um, until then, be sure to follow us on Instagram because we update there first before um, YouTube. And yeah, that's it. Thank you guys again for watching, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.